Alrighty, folks, here we are, week nine. Here on the final stretch, we got two weeks left. So let's just jump right into it. All right. So this is the Junior Golf Network, exclusively covering the Crown Colony, PGA Junior League, the best in East Texas. So we got Tuesday's night match. This team's will actually play twice this week. Then we're going to do our makeup from earlier in the season. So we got the Roadrunners, who are five and two, taking on the Panthers, who are one and five. First match right out of the gate, we got the big brothers Logan and Hunter taking on Mason and Lucas. Mario Michael and Caroline will be taking on Victoria and Sawyer. We got Millie and Kaylin taking on Dane and Jacob. And rounding about, we got Luke and Gibson taking on John and Jansen. So that will be our match Tuesday night. We'll be right back going over Wednesday's match, which will be a battle to see who's still in first place. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here's what we've been talking about at this team week's practice, okay? Last week, we talked about alignment and how we want it rained out. Well, this week, we're also going to talk about the club face. As you can tell, I have this magnetic stick pointing on my club face, right? So this is actually going to tell me where I have the club face. Okay, a lot of times we get players, as you can kind of see, as I'm manipulating the club face, my stick points at different directions, okay? So what we're going to do is we kind of have this T set up here on the ground. Again, this is going to be where my club face, where I want pointing, my path towards the target. And this one's going to help me set it up nice and square. So this is a pretty simple drill that you can do at the house to kind of help us where we can get nice and square. So we're going to set up, make sure shoulders and hips are all even in my line, and I'm going to set down my club. Okay, so ideally I'm looking for the club face on this stick to be nice and flush, and the stick on my club face to be pointing down there, okay? And that's where I'm helping it like that, okay? So as you can see, if I start moving my hands this way or that way, the stick on the club face starts moving direction, okay? If we don't have the club face pointing down where we want to go, that could make, you know, our shots go off a little bit, okay? So we've really been talking a lot about alignment and setting up. All these little things help us make a better golf swing, okay? Remember, PGA also can stand for posture, grip, and alignment, okay? So it's always the little things that we keep talking about to try to overall help our golf game and our golf swing. That's what we've been talking about team practice this week. All right, guys, we're back. Wednesday's match. We got the Crowns, who are now in second place at 6-2, and two, taking on the Cyclones, who are 7-0-1. Oh, so this will make it going real tight how this one comes out. Where we go into week 10. So, here we go. Here's what we're going to have for the crowns. We got Miller and Parker taking up on Jacob and Andrew, the birdie machines. We got our deadly duo of Delaney and Taylor taking on Scarlett and Brooks. We got Rob Hayes and Tripp taking on Daniel and Damon. And finishing out, we got G and Hollis taking on Olivia, Brooks, and Gus. So, Type match, two of the top team, the two top teams, first place team and the second place team going at it Wednesday night. Big matchup. Be a lot of fun. Can't wait to recap that one. We'll be back Thursday. We got a double header on Thursday with one of our makeups. We'll be going over those matches here. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here's our quick tip of the week. We're actually going to talk about slopes, okay? And I'm going to kind of use the camera. And you can see as we got slopes going all the way through here, okay? So, the most frequent question is, where do I aim when I have a slope, okay? All right? So if I have an uphill slope, okay? All right, I'm going to play the ball up in the, my stance, and I'm going to aim just a tiny bit a little to the left, okay? All right? Now, if I have what we're going to say a downhill slope, I'm going to move the thing, my club, back in my stance, okay? All right? If I'm playing it uphill, I'm going to take one more club. If I'm downhill, I'm going to take one club less, okay? Because the actual impact, where we're actual loft at impact is going to change, okay? Now, let's talk about side hills, okay? All right? So, if I'm sloping this way into the camera, okay, I'm going to add more, I'm going to aim more left, okay? the ball has gonna have a tendency going to the right. Okay, if the slope is this way, and I'm swinging more up here, I'm gonna to aim to the right because the ball's gonna have a tendency more left, okay? 
So depending on which way the ball's sloping is going to be which way the ball goes, okay? So real quick, if it's more up, the ball's going to have a tendency to go more up. So I want to take more club, okay? If it's down, the ball's going to have a tendency to go more low, so I want to take less, all right? If we are this way, the ball's going to go with the slope more towards the right, and if the slope is more this way, the ball's going to go more towards the left, okay? So knowing these lies can help us aim better, pick club, and know what the ball's doing, okay? That's what makes the pro so great. They always know how the ball's going to come off. They, they see the lies, they read the lies. So just reading is just not on the putting greens. It's sometimes it's how our ball lies in the fairway and stuff, okay? So that's our quick tip of the week. All right, double header action with our makeup, but let's first, let's go over the Express and the Lumberjacks. The Express got to two and six, and the Lumberjacks are one, six, and one, so we're looking for to get a couple more wins here at the end of the season. So, going up, first one, we got Damon and Case going up against Paxton and Corbin. Taryn and Chase will be taking on Weston, Hill, and Jackson. We got Celeste and Destiny taking on Charlie and Anna. And rounding it about, we got the brother sister going up against, which will be Will and Bryn. Got a little ahead of myself there, sorry. Against CJ and Connor. So that's the Express going up against the Lumberjacks. That'll be one of our matches. And then in our makeup match, again, we got the Road Runners and the Panthers. Um, same matchups as before. I'll go run them down real quick again. We got the brothers, Logan and Hunter, taking on Mason and Lucas. Mary, Mike, and Caroline will be taking on Victoria and Sawyer again. Millie and Kalen will be taking on Dane, Jacob. Yeah, just Dane and Jacob on that one. And then Luca, Luke and Gibson will be taking on John and Jason. So, that's our full week right there. It'll be another exciting week. This is week nine. Coming down here to the stretch to see who's going to be in the final two spots. So, um, as usual, can't do it without y'all. It's been an exciting season. Can't wait to see how this unravels going in. So, always send me pictures, send me videos, and everything like that. It's going to be a fun week with a couple of matches, and we'll see how Week 10 breaks on. We'll be back with you. Thanks, guys.